Back to the vlog number three up here to Donner Pass. We're up here at Norton. Big holes that way. Soda Springs that way. And we have a uh, eastbound Z train coming right up. As soon as he passes, I think we're gonna go ahead and explore in there and show you guys what they got. This is the main line that's facing west trains come in cross over there and that's right where we were just a few minutes ago this here used to be the other main line that would go how would you best describe that through the snow shed that you can now hike through best way to explain it um, they ended up cutting that route out and sticking with this when they created the big hole. And I think that lowered the incline by a roughly 250 feet of elevation climb. So that's now the main line. This track just goes right here and ends. And this one right here, they have a little tank car stored here. Now they have fuel, diesel, and everything. In the wintertime, they'd come in here with uh, snow equipment and store some. and. Got a little drip tray here. And uh, well, this facility used to have a roundhouse in here back in the steam era. right here kind of showcases how they keep their switches thought out. They just heat the rails. Snow doesn't build up, no ice build up. Even though they're inside, they'd probably get ice build up from any water that would drip, drip through. All right, we came down to the uh, tank car. 1993 is what they got in here. They had the wheels chalked, so it doesn't roll away. Looks like it might have been leaking. So they have it stored. Wonder where from. <laughs> more fuel back here. Well, perhaps this is where they pump it from. Yeah, they have their hose there that they'd attach and then attach to this one. There's our sucker up there. Oh, I see. Okay, so it sucks from the top. Runs in this PVC liner. Drops down, goes through here. And to their storage. Kind of cool.
up here at Shed 10. That right there is Shed 10. This is single track and it turns into double track right inside that uh, snow shed there. Runs from double track all the way to uh, Norton. But uh, we got this grain train. I think there's uh, one more coming. Should be a uh, westbound. We're here at mile post 178. This used to be a old double track section of track, so this is a double track bridge as you can see. That's kind of cool. That's the uh, that's the new paint scheme that they're doing on Union Pacifics now. No more flag on the side. They now put it on the nose so they don't burn up. I guess. Oh, there it goes. You see it poked right out the other side. And that's double track right over there. So, like I was saying, this used to be a double track bridge. Right here where I'm standing used to be. Uh, the other main line, they've since did away with it. I believe in uh, 1997, I think. And we're gonna go look inside that snow shed over here. Old bridge, I'll put the age of it right down here in the title or uh, on the bottom of the screen looks like old remains of a something steel and cement I don't know what it's from Here we are at the entrance of Shed 10. Looks like they've been dropping a little bit of sand here on the rails. Losing traction, see all the sand on the rails there. is a brake pad off the uh, train car. In case you're wondering what they look like, that's them. Clips on and just presses against the wheel. Never know the things you find inside of these old tunnels. All right, welcome back. It's our uh, last day here up on the Donner Pass, Roseville Sub. Got some guys working on the tracks here. We got their uh, equipment coming up. Looks like they're pounding in spikes. So uh, we're gonna slowly make our way back down to the Central Valley. Uh, we'll see what we see. I know that there is an eastbound coming and I'm hoping we can catch a westbound and just kind of ride it all the way back, but we'll uh, see what we see.
overlook. Overlooking Donner Lake, North Star Ski Resort. There's the tracks up there. The snow shed right there. And then the start of the big hole is right past over there. Yeah. Alrighty, we made it up here to Yuba Gap. Right there is the Interstate 80. Um, in order to get to this spot, in case you guys are wondering if you're heading west on 80, you'd get off the freeway, loop around and come back towards the on-ramp heading east. And then you could just turn right off here. But this is our location. Got a nice signal bridge going into a a tunnel and then a long string of series of tunnels it is a single track from here all the way to shed 47 um, and then from here down to uh, what do they call that area immigrant gap yeah same area just right around the corner maybe two or three miles then it's double all the way back into roseville but we have a westbound intermodal coming that should be showing up here in a few minutes. We're over here in Alta, or down here in Alta. Alta's, honestly don't know, maybe 10 to 15 miles by road to the uh, east of Colfax. Um, I've always wanted to shoot this area. Never have, I've only seen a lot of people shoot it right along the cliff. Pretty cool. It's like 4,000 feet in elevation. Lower, you can tell things are drying out, but it's a good view.